Winston Churchill said this, the most valuable thing in the world is truth. It is so valuable that it has often been barricaded by a bodyguard of lies. Let us now share with you a few other examples of deception by Satan, lies in our society today. The Gay Pride. Have you ever wondered why the Gay Pride celebrates pride? Because Satan knows that God opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. So Satan wants mankind to celebrate the very thing that God opposes, pride. Have you ever wondered why the gay pride uses a six-color rainbow flag as a symbol for love? Satan knows that God is love. In the Bible, the rainbow is a symbol of the peace and love of God. In heaven, around the throne was a rainbow. The biblical rainbow has seven colors. Seven is a number symbolic for perfection in the Bible, and it appears everywhere in Revelation. We shared about the three series of seven judgments, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven bowls, seven, 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 and on the contrary, the mark of the beast is the number 666. Is it a coincidence that the gay pride celebrates it taking pride in distorting the true symbol of the love and peace of God with the six color rainbow flag? We believe this movement is one of the ways that Satan, the spiritual force, has influenced the physical realm to manifest in ways that insult and show contempt for God. Another example, abortion. Have you wondered why the world advocates the right to legally kill unborn babies? Because Satan knows that God forms and knits each person in their mother's womb. In fact, the first person in history to celebrate Jesus was John the Baptist, an unborn baby who leapt for joy inside his mother's womb. The word baby used to describe John the Baptist means a child, an infant. The mother's womb is supposed to be the safest place to protect and nourish the most vulnerable of all human beings, but it has become one of the most dangerous places in the world. The WHO estimates 125,000 abortions per day, which is about 40 to 50 million a year. Satan is out to kill, and he has deceived the world with a lie that an unborn child inside the womb is merely a clump of cells and not a person. But in God's eyes, the killing of a child inside a womb is no different from killing a child outside the womb. Do not believe Satan's lie that it is okay to burn a vulnerable unborn child with acid and to dismember this child. So we didn't initially include this in the video, but we thought it was important for you guys to know that if any of you are in a place where you had believed in or are believing in the lies of Satan, if you have made mistakes, there is still hope. You know, God is a God of love, a God of grace, and a God of mercy, and He desires to forgive you. Mercy triumphs over judgment, and if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins. You know, I was one who used to believe in Satan's lies. I pursued a same-sex relationship. I attempted to take my life a few times. But God's love opened up my eyes to His truth. I have confessed my sins. I have repented, turned away from the lies, and turned to the truth, and He has forgiven me. He loves you and He will forgive you too. And when I found out about this, I was really very touched. Huangrui经创办的培训学校六月二十八号开课。
Dear LGBT community, I'd like to share a personal message with you. There's a group of people that I identify with the most. It would be the LGBT community because I was one of you. I came back to Singapore from the US to pursue a Christian woman I loved, only to be told that according to the God of the Bible, homosexuality is a sin. I experienced firsthand the anger, heartache, pain, tears, suffering, depression, and suicide. And at that time, if there was a group of people I hated more than any other, it would be the Christians. And so I understand the hurt and anger that some of you may be experiencing and the motivation behind your comments in my last video. I accept them, and I'm sorry that the video has caused you to feel this way. When I hit a roadblock in my pursuit of love, I did not stop at hating Christians or hurling vulgarities, banging tables and slamming doors. I took it further and I sought to dispel their truth. I wanted to prove to them that the Bible is nothing but a book of lies. But that two-year journey led me to uncover what I now wholeheartedly believe to be truths from the Bible. It was never my intention to hurt or to condemn anyone. And I only wanted to share what I truly believe is the truth of God's Word. In all the three videos as part of our online Revelation Bible study series that I personally scripted. I understand that you may disagree with me on, the, on my truth, but every person has the right to their beliefs and to speak up for what they believe in. And that's what I did in my video. And that's what you all have been doing in response to my video in the comments. Having said this, I have decided to remove the video from the public domain in the spirit of peace. I have come to believe and hold fast to this truth today because one Christian stood by her conviction to speak the truth in love to me. I have tested her, I have pushed her to her limits, I have done and said some terribly hurtful things to her. But through it all, she forgave me and she continued to be a friend who guided me towards the love of Jesus. And that is my desire to do the same for you.